Well, jobs be lost to Brian Patterson Air Force Base in a political battle over spending. It could happen. And New Center 7's Jamani with a Miami Valley lawmaker launching a bipartisan drive to stop it. Here on base, they're watching this budget battle very closely. If Congress takes no action by the beginning of January, we will see layoffs here. 47,000 people here have direct ties to the military budget. The base faces a 10% across-the-board spending cut if no agreement is reached. You could see it would be devastating economically here, but also it would go right to the heart of the missions of the Air Force and threat our national security. Congressman Mike Turner is launching a bipartisan plan to avoid the cuts, meeting with military contractors and Democratic Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez of California. She's telling people a workable plan is possible. There are some in the Republican Party and some on the Democratic side that are working together to try to find a solution where cuts are made, but not the deep cuts that um, we're talking about. Military contractors around the base are also being hit by this budget crisis. The uncertainty of the situation is already causing problems. How do you plan? You know, do you, do you lay off your whole staff? I mean, you don't have a clue what, what's going to be hit. Or how, or how to plan for tomorrow. It's, it's, just, um, it's just a little bit of insanity. The hope here is that after the election, there will be enough political pressure to get the president and Republicans and Democrats in the Congress to all come to get something passed to avoid these layoffs. At the base, Jim Audie, News Center 7.